Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is the LNW Entertainment Show. I also know you know me on Twitch as well, uh, Patat the Strong. So uh, today I'm gonna like rant about a club that I support, Liverpool, uh, Liverpool Football Club. So today I just watched um, Liverpool versus Fulham, and they've lost one 0 And what can I say? It was an absolute fucking Im embarrassment uh just i don't know what is going on with liverpool it's we just like having the shocking season and just like not giving the effort that the players should give it's just, just absolutely just like fucking stupid so we've, we're in seventh place right now with only 12 wins and nine losses and and what's more shocking is, is that we're not Liverpool is not winning clubs that they should win, and especially when they're at the at the bottom of the league, you know. And it's just like, what is going on? So it's and you, do, and you don't really know who to fault. It's do you fault the players, Klopp, or the owners? It's I don't know what's going on with their mentality because. Ever since after the win, since Tottenham, that's when it just started going all fucking downhill. So it's just like complete embarrassment. So, so I watched the Fulham game and and also to Fulham fans and Fulham team. Well done, you played fantastic. You, you completely destroyed Liverpool. Like you played really great, like exposing our defense and exposing just our weakness. So the problem with it I can see with Liverpool is the passing is just absolutely shocking. I don't understand why is Liverpool players are just absolutely like keep focusing on crosses and lob passing and just not doing any two to one passing. Because like last season there was all these great two to one passing, like fast paced two to one passing. But now over the play, it's always like lob, lob, lob passes, and just hopefully it, it, uh, the defender makes a mistake, and hopefully uh, it does get to one of the wingers. It's just they keep trying it every time, and it does not fucking work. It's all the time, and the crosses as well. It's like it just never worked. The crosses just either it hits a defender or a defender heads it away. You know, it's just really stupid. Uh, I'm trying to remember there was like one game, I think it was West Ham, where we just kept crossing it and they uh, and they had like full of tall players. And it's like, w what are you doing? Like, start crossing uh, against a team that is full of tall players. It's, it's not going to work. Try and like take them on or just try a two to one passing. And like the, the tactics that Klopp is, is putting all, all the players have, it's just not work. I think like all the teams have easily worked out what is Liverpool's and um, tactical uh, uh, tactical playing. Like what is there? Like how do they attack? It's it's always the same. It's never ever different. It's like in Klopp, it just does a four three three. It does work, but but now it does it. It's like. It, it it just doesn't, and he never tries like a four two four four two. But he did try it in uh, against Fulham in the second half when finally he substituted some players, and you know, and he doesn't even try like a three five two or anything. And what I've noticed, like every fucking team is keep doing, is they always build like a massive defensive war against Liverpool. They always do like like seven or eight players like defending their box. While as Liverpool, we have like something like five or four players defending, and the counter attack is from Liverpool is also just shocking as well. Like last season, like from the corners when they got the ball, they were fast paced, go and they got themselves open. But this time. It's just way too slow. Like every pass, every decision is just way too fucking slow. 
and it gives time for the for the opposition player to catch up and get back into their defence. And I just don't understand that, and it's it's just ridiculous because like Liverpool's like got the ball, speed, get it down there, and just pass, and then boom, goal. Because like the the opposition didn't have time to get their players back in time back in time to defend. But whereas now, because they're, they're running so slow or like passing so slow in the counter attack, the, the team just have time to 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 defend and. The thing is that there was like there's some parts where Liverpool have like great play, but it's always around the box when we get into the third when Liverpool gets into the third play, it's nothing, it's nothing there. It's always dead and like and just watching them is like like Jamie Carragher said, well, I totally agree. If it, you feel like now a goal it isn't gonna happen. You know, back in last season, other season, when you were like Liverpool were one 0 down, you were fine with it because you knew Liverpool was going to score back, and you knew Liverpool was going to bring it back. But it just feels like now, when a team just scores one goal against Liverpool, you're just like, oh, for fuck's sake. And you're just angry, and you're just waiting and waiting and waiting for that to get, uh, waiting for the next goal. And it just doesn't happen. So let's just talk about like some of the players. Mo Salah. Like he's getting the runs, but doesn't pass often. Keeps running to players, and he just and he just like dies sometimes. He does not that. He just dies sometimes. Instead of staying on your feet, he just dies and just wastes the ball. Mane, I don't know what's going on. His confidence is just going down. He's just not beating players. So, um, Firmino is. It doesn't go past him, but his touches and just some of the runs is just just poor. You know, it's just really bad. And a little bit, uh, what caught I don't understand what caught is his substitution uh, are are just really uh, questionable, and it doesn't make any sense. Like against Chelsea, we're one 0 down, and what does he do? He subs Salah, who's our top goal scorer. And you're like, why? Like, why would you substitute someone who's wants goals and someone who's trying to get the goal back? Just substitutes, it doesn't start. And in today, Milner against Fulham was an absolute shot. His passing was poor. Couldn't get the, the field, couldn't get the ball to the field or anything. And he nearly and he gave away the ball that nearly led to a goal. And and he swapped to an Alden. And you just like swap Milner, he's having a shit game. I just don't understand why is Klopp keeping on players or having a shit game. You'd rather like put take off the play. You're having a shit game. Get off and putting on someone who can play it around. Who can put play it around better? But what can I say? But but right now Liverpool, you need to sort something out because the records that we're having now is fucking embarrassing. And apparently, it's been eleven or fourteen hours. Without a goal in an open field, and now um, Klopp has become the very first Liverpool manager to lose six home games in a row, is completely embarrassing. I mean, we waited thirty years for a Premiership, and you got us, and you got, and Liverpool got the Premiership League last year. And and this is the thanks we get is is by playing poor and just not putting the effort into it. But I understand like football can take a toll on you. You have got to deal with like the press, fans like us, and also I totally understand like the mentality it can take a toll on you. But it's you you got to play better than that like. I would be totally fine with Liverpool if they put a hundred percent into it. If we lose, if we lose two one, you know, if it's like one or but we were fighting and fighting, we got the chance and we lost two one. I would have been fine with that if Liverpool was at least fighting for it. But no, it's just like we're losing and we're just like there's no fight getting it back. There's just no like uproar, anything, everything, slow pace, no fast pace, just no nothing. 
you know, and like in some form of sense, well, we've been poor since, since Virgil van Dijk hasn't been in defence. Well, well, it's the thing, but after van Dijk's injury, we were playing okay without van, Virgil van Dijk in centre back, and it's no. And I saw um, Jamie Carragher say there should be no excuses for Liverpool playing poor without Virgil van Dijk in the centre back. You mean, it's like nearly become like Liverpool last season was like a whole team thing. Now it's just becoming like a one-man team. You know, if you look like Barcelona, they just rely on Messi all the time. Now with Liverpool, it's like we're almost relying on Salah to fucking score or allow Mane to score a fucking goal if he can. You know, it's always relying. It's like, it's, you know, it's always relying. And the midfield, the midfield is always relying on the three strikers, the two wingers and the striker, to score a goal. It's like they're never the midfielders. He's just like, for fuck's sake, you guys can score as well. You know, it's not just up to the strikers to score as well. You're midfielders, you're meant to score as well. You know, you're a central attacking mid. You've got to fucking score a goal as well. But, I don't know, but I think the only hoping grace Liverpool has is... It's the Champions League. You know, hopefully we do well in the Champions League. If we get a Champions League win, I'll help, I'll do happy with that. But the Premier League has been shocking. I'm just worried we're not even going to get fourth and, or even fifth. You know, we're like, we're, we're six time, Liverpool is a six time UEFA Champions League winner and uh, 20 time. A Premier League winner, and and this is how we play, and this is how Liverpool's playing. Just terrible, bad. So, what's the best? So, my solution, the best way to sort is stop doing crosses, stop doing lob ball passing, do two to one passing, and just put and just do better substitution changes. Stop pulling them on late. Stop pulling them early. Klopp, you need to start doing that. Stop pulling your best players on late. Stop giving them like 10 or 5 minutes to fucking bring the game back. Well, that's the rant. So, yeah, so this has been the LNW Entertainment Show. Protect strong. See you all later.